Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter into MailChimp. This is going to be a really easy process. So I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you haven't claimed this great way application called the MailChimp. So once you are directly here into MailChimp, the very first thing I want to do is to sign it in or into sign up. Once again, you have the links down below. So you have to provide a mail as well as a passcode and then verify your account in order to continue. Once you have access to the dashboard, we can now focus into the second part, which is uh, the setting of the MailChimp account. So once you're logged in and it's time to set up your account, you can complete your account into the upper side, go directly into your profile and enter your business name, your address, any other relevant details, and then you can start by adding your audience. So this is going to be really important before we can start our newsletter so we can do this process in a very easy way. So let's focus into the left pod now and let's start to add our audience. Into the left pod, let's go here for all the context and we can import or create a list of subscribers who will receive our newsletter. Here you can go from importing a contact or to add a single contact. You can do it one by one or to do it with an actual Excel file or whatever. So it's going to be asking you to add an email as well as a first, last name, the address, the phone, number, the birth, and much more elements. Usually what's more basic and easy is just to type the first, last name, and the email address, and you're good to go. Now, we can set up our default email address to reply to addresses and other preferences directly into your email settings. All of that can be focused into the upper side and go directly into your profile. Inside your profile, you can see that we have a bunch of ways and tools where you can get started, usually just focus into the overview and the settings. Now we are ready to create our very first newsletter. Let's go into creating to the upper side. Inside here, let's start a new campaign. So we can focus with a regular email, automation or landing page. Let's go for the sign an email on the regular email. Now you can choose a campaign type. In my case, we chose a regular email two usually we can go for edit the receipt now send to all the subscribers all the tags depending on where is the audience that you chose you can of course focus and tag different customers directly into your audience in my case i use the subscribers in my audience list now do not send to this is totally optional but in my case i want to just disable this now from should be the email my business email that i'm going to be using the subject Let's start with the subject now. So when you check out here the untitled files, I'm gonna add the subject for my newsletter. For example, let's say August 2024, new income. And you can add a great subject using uh, some smiley faces, animal nature, depending on what is the type that you're gonna be sending. Now, I'm gonna see the preview of my text. For example, like a 10% discount for you, a uh, welcome newsletter or whatever. So since it's a newsletter, let's say that I want to talk about uh, the summer sale is here. There we go. I'm going to save this and now we have the sent to. Before we can send our email, of course, we needed to create and design our newsletter. So you can see that we have the content. So I'm going to go for design email. Now into design email, I can see that we have a bunch of templates that I can use. Let's go into the email purpose and let's type newsletter. Now, when you fill the newsletter, let's go here where it says free templates only. So you don't have to pay extra for all of this. Now you can choose one template you kind of like and go for continue. You can go for a simple text if you wanted to, since it's a newsletter, of course. Now, after you choose a custom template, you can customize it. You can use the MailChimp drag and drag better to add text, images, button, and other elements. You can even use the elements that are already here into the preview to use it. For example, here, this button, this email in your browser, we can change the logo and we can do so much more. So take your time to fill as much information as you can and speaking about your newsletter. Now, since this is a newsletter, what you want to do is to make sure that you have enough information to fill it into your email. So this is just a newsletter uh, trial or example. Now, Filling more information and filling more about your company is going to be making your newsletter look much greater. For example, go for done. I'm going to add one product of, um, let's say, something that I'm selling. So if you can do it here into the section that says add products, and you can add your new product in here. If you don't see one, you have to add it manually directly into your product manager. So lastly, what I just need to do is to configure the button text. So link to the web, let's go for shop now. 
and there you go. Now I'm going to delete this and let's take a look into the upper side, it says preview. Check out how it's going to be looking your email as a desktop view, as a mobile view, and the inbox view. When you think everything looks correct, let's go into closed and let's go into save and exit. You're not ready to send this test to yourself. So go for send test, send it to yourself, and you're good to go. Creating and automating an email campaign is another tutorial for an audit video. So if you want to check that out, you can let us know into the comments below. Basically, this is how we can start a newsletter using the MailChimp. So just in case you have any question, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully, you can all see you next time.